there is a good long stretch of minus 30 weather. Whew, feels good. I have that stove just roaring. The house is warm. I'm doing my job as a father to keep my family nice and comfortable. As I am with my bees. The fan's been on idle for the last, as long as this cold stretch has been through. Steady exchange of air. This one hasn't been on for a little while. Look at the uh, frost buildup. Lots of humidity being produced inside that shed. You can kind of see the water vapor as it leaves the vents. It's minus 35 right now, and thank goodness there's no wind. But that shed, it's holding itself at four degrees without any supplemental heat. Basically what it is, is a, it's a 45 by 50, 12 foot ceiling, insulated all around. We have R50, I think, in the ceiling, R25 or whatever in the walls, and then two inch rigid board underneath the cement pad. So we're insulated all the way around. So it's a very well insulated shed and it has 1500 honeybee units inside. So if you do the math, uh, I always do the math here. Let's say for easy math, let's say 20 watts of heat energy per hive. If it was on 1500, that's like a 30,000 uh, watt heater going on at all times inside that shed. So that's what's maintaining the warmth within the building. And as you can see, it's a good sign humidity coming out like that. You can just see the warmth in the air. So my bees are alive. Let's go take a peek. Four degrees, right on the money. So this is my idle fan. It's set at idle. No, this is my idle fan. It's set at four degrees and I set my fan idle really low. This is my purge fan, so when this goes above eight degrees, this fan will turn on just to move more air through the shed and it's set at a ramped speed. Very basic setup going on here. Ceiling fans, just to mix the air. I'm very casually mixing the air in this room. Just see what kind of drop we have going on this morning. There is the vents. Frosted up. Ooh, I can feel the cold air. Yay. That's from the humidity in the room. So I don't have a plenum. What I should have is attached to the end of that I need a plenum that goes the length of the shed just to kind of mix the cold air coming into the shed more appropriately across the room. But what I have is really basic. So it just comes in one side of the shed. So this side of the shed is probably a little colder than that side of the shed. But as the air comes in and the ceiling fans mix that air as it's pulled out and the exhaust fans are on the other side of the shed which pulls the air through the room. It works well enough. I'm not seeing any moisture issues on these colonies here because of condensation due to that cold. Oh, there's a bit. This side of the shed's a little colder so I have a little more condensation issue here. And I do on the other side. It's just the one hive there. A little bit of condensation there. So that's a flaw in my shed setup. I should look into it. Yeah, just a little bit of condensation on the sides of the hive bodies. So I should take the corks out of these colonies here, just to allow that excess moisture within the colonies to get out. But because I'm holding the shed at 40, 45, and this is frozen. 
So just a colder environment and the condensation as it settles uh, instead of evaporating or instead of the bees using it, uh, it's dripping, actively dripping down the side of the body. But we won't find that on the other side of the shed where it's warmer. So I can feel the cold air coming in right now. That's a flaw. I need to plant them. Maybe I'll get to it next year. Hasn't caused enough problem to actually act on it right now. There's my bee drop. Quite casual. And here's the other side of the shed. And I'm not seeing any type of condensation issue here. Because it's probably warmer on this side of the shed. Middle of February. We are about to enter the dreaded month of March. That's when we're really going to be able to see the stress expressed in the shed. I'm not seeing too much for a blowout, which is a good sign. A healthy population still. That's a good sign. Lots of canola being eaten. Look at that. As they dig away at the corners. It's got me a little concerned. But my syrup bill kind of relieves that concern. I gave these guys lots of feed. Starting to disappear up into the frames. Can't even see that guy. Not much for bee drop in the new pile. Smaller colonies. Those guys have disappeared. Tucked up there, so we out there, way up there, a little bit smaller. They're digging into the canola too. The canola honey. They're actually kicking the honey out onto the bottom board. The canola makes a lousy winter feed. One of the reasons why we put so much attention into pulling it out of the hive so they don't have to winter on it. There's my idle fan, continual. That's my purge fan. It's off right now. I'm not sure how much air is being displaced, but it, it's a feels like the air volume coming through that fan feels like that table fan set on medium so consistent
minus 35 degrees last night and my shed's holding at four degrees. I had to open the doors to the shed to load the diesel heater. I just have it sitting outside the honey house here, loaded it up with the forklift because one of our tractors isn't starting. So we're gonna tarp the tractor, blast some heat on it for an hour, get her going. Gotta get these cattle fed. But I've had the door open for about two minutes just so I could load that heater. And the temperature within two minutes has dropped to minus 15 inside the shed here already. So it doesn't take long to cool the shed down with the door open. But that shows how much girths inside these colonies in this shed. It's been minus 30, 33, 35 with the wind over the last bunch of days now and this shed has no heat on it. The shed is only heated by these bees themselves so there's roughly 1500 hives in here including the nukes and you know if they're giving off roughly I don't know they say 20 watts if that's true so if that's true then there's about 25 to 30 thousand watt heater in this shed giving off heat at all times and even with that steady air exchange out of the shed these bees are able to maintain the temperature within the shed through these cold cold days cold nights so that's good that's really reassuring that tells me that these hives are alive and strong and pumping out the heat which means that they're big uh, so I better close this door to let the shed warm up again Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. 